Let's talk about how to set up your file paths and some project settings in Reaper to make your files easy to find, everything organized and manageable. I'm Keith from No Label, No Producer, No Limits.com. Let's dive right in. In the course of a project, Reaper generates several kinds of files. And you don't need access to all of them. And Reaper just kind of dumps them into one place, which isn't very good for workflow. So let's fix that. I'm just going to go through the steps that I use to set it up. And you can set it up this way or a different way if you like. So the first thing I do is on my OS drive, drive C here, I've created a folder called Reaper Temp. And inside that folder, I created two other folders, Backups and Repeaks. So I recommend that you do the same. These are going to store two different kinds of files that we don't need access to on a regular basis. Now on a drive that's not my OS, and this is what I would recommend for you as well, I've set up my song projects folder. So if you don't have a song projects folder and you can call it whatever you like, go ahead and make one. And you'll see inside this song projects folder, I have all my songs. And I have a test project called test project B. And you'll see in here, there's the project file, Reaper project file, and an undo file, which stores my undos, and it will load with the project. And something called a media files folder, which has all of my recorded media. So any time I sing or play guitar, it will end up in this folder. So how do we set that up to happen automatically? Well, let's go to Reaper, and I'll show you. The first thing we do is we go to Project Settings. So you can get there with File, Default, Menu, Main File, and Projects Settings. And we go to the Media tab. And I've just typed in Media Files here. No path. I haven't browsed to find a folder. So what that's going to do is create a folder, which we saw earlier, which will hold all of my recorded media for a particular project. That's all we need to do here. We save as default project settings. And now we go to our preferences, which is options, preferences, control or command P, depending on whether you're on a Mac or a PC. And let's go up here to general. Now here I have checked the save undo history with project files in rpp-undo file. So that was that undo file that you saw there. So check these two. This just chooses which actions and which items are available for undo. Might as well have them all. And then we go to paths. And this is my default path to save new projects. So anytime I start to save a project, it will default to this folder. Down here, I've checked store all peak caches, repeaks, in an alternate path. And I browsed to the temp folder we saw earlier and clicked on repeaks. Clicked OK. Now, repeaks are just the graphics files. What you see here on the screen is a waveform. Well, that's made up of a graphics file, which is representative of the audio file. So we don't need access to that. In fact, if we delete all of those files, Reaper will just recreate them the next time we open the project. So default path to save new projects and store all peak caches in alternate path. Now let's go to project backups. Turn auto save on. This will save your life. And I have auto save to time stamped file in additional directory selected. So see Reaper temp backups. So again, I've browsed to this file, selected backups, and there we have it. I have it set to autosave every six minutes when not recording. Now that we've got all those settings, let's just click Apply and OK. So let's fire up a new Reaper project and see how it goes. So File, New Project. I'm going to click twice to add a track. Put it in record ready with the record arm button. Choose mic line two because that's what I'm speaking to. And hit record. Hey, it's Keith recording here. This little audio snippet. Okay, now I have an audio file. Let's save it. 
Save Project. And look, it defaults to the Song Projects folder. Let's call this Zaz Turned Blue. Now, I'm going to select these two items, create subdirectory for project, and copy all media into project directory. Now let's look in our song projects folder. Zaz turned blue. And here I have my project file, one undo file, and I should have my audio file. Now if we look on the C drive in the Reaper temp, we have a backup already, but it's not named because this project wasn't named. If we left this project open for six minutes, it would be saved in the backups as well. So there we have our file folder system set up so we can easily locate things within Reaper and it doesn't get overwhelming. There's more information below the video, including a link to an article with information about how to set up your audio interface with Reaper as well as more in depth on this subject. Remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment. I'm Keith from No Label, No Producer, No Limits.com. See you soon. Bye bye. <music>